What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we have in front of us the Allbird Tree Dasher Shoe. Allbirds is a sustainable shoe company that prides themselves on making products that have a zero carbon footprint. Um, this one claims to be odor resistant, uh, machine washable, and conforming to your foot. It says right here on the box, run like the wind, designed for performance and crafted using premium natural materials like eucalyptus trees and sugarcane instead of petroleum based synthetics. The tree dasher keeps you light on your feet while going easy on the planet. Make moves with natural comfort thanks to a seamless knit upper with reinforced zonal stretch paired with amplified traction and rebound. The tree dasher has everything you need to get active without sacrificing style. So those are a lot of fancy words and it all sounds great and it all sounds like uh, exceptional marketing. The reason I bought these shoes is because I keep seeing so many ads online for the Allbirds. Okay, starting off just with the look and the aesthetic of it overall, this is a really, really nice looking running shoe. If you guys have used a bunch of different running shoes over the years like I have, you know that some of them don't look the greatest. They don't look the prettiest. I got the Geyser light blue color and I gotta say, these are really, really nice looking shoes. Yes, they are expensive. By the way, Allbirds is not sponsoring this video in any way. I bought these shoes with my own money so if you guys wouldn't mind hitting the like button, this was a very expensive video to make. These are not cheap, $125 plus taxes. So yeah, I spent a pretty penny trying to review these for you guys. I've been seeing them all over the internet, so I wanted to try them for myself. And of course, all that talk online about how great their product is, is cool. Uh, it says right on their website that they've logged thousands of miles with 50 plus amateur and pro runners over a year long period. So I mean, that's a big, that's a big statement right there that they're making. I mean, hey, obviously they're doing a great job with marketing. I caved in and bought a pair of these bad boys for 125 bucks, so. But I mean, looks awesome. The feel of it feels pretty nice, but of course, all that goes by the wayside. We have to take these bad boys for a run. So we're gonna go on a little run. We're gonna try to get in some pavement, some dirt, all kinds of different terrains. Let's go for a little run, shall we? It's run time. Just finished a 70 minute run. These shoes pleasantly surprised me. I'm gonna head back to my house, let's talk about it. Oh, 
hang on. Got a smudge on the lens. So let's get into it then. What do I think about the Allbirds? Um, okay, I'm gonna start with the things that I like. I actually do really like the mesh upper. Um, it's nice and wide. I have a super wide foot and uh, it definitely leaves plenty of space on my runs. It actually felt really nice. I felt like there was plenty of room up front and I like it. Another thing I like about the shoe, it's really easy to get on and off. They don't have a tongue on the shoe and it's nice and stretchy. So sometimes you have shoes where it's difficult to put on your kind of like having to like shake it back and forth on your heel and kind of like squeeze it on. This one just hops right on. Easy to take on and off your shoe and it's it's awesome. Another thing I really like about these, I know I already said this, but they're stylish. You know, like you feel, you feel good wearing them. You know, they look really nice. I don't care so much about how shoes look. I really care a lot more about how they perform. I'd rather wear an ugly shoe that performs well than a shoe that's looks nice but doesn't perform as well. But I mean, these just look really nice. I love the machine washable feature. That's super cool. You can just throw them in. Um, if you're someone who runs a lot of miles, you know that shoes can start to get a little like stinky over time. They kind of smell bad. So if you throw them in the washer, you can get rid of the smell um, from all the miles. And they just look a lot nicer, especially when they're a color like this. You can keep them like a lot more nice and white and everything. Now on to the things that I'm not super fond of. The laces are way too freaking short on these things. It's a little annoyance every single time that like you barely have enough lace to get it like double knotted every time you put on your shoes. So I don't love that. Um, something else I don't love. It is a bit narrow through here. Um, it's nice, like I said, nice by the toe box. It's nice and wide through here. It felt a little narrow on some of the runs where I was wearing these. I wish it was a tiny bit wider. It just felt a little narrow. And also, um, on my runs, I don't know if it's this like wool carpeting on the inside. It, you can see it's a little thicker by the heel, but it kind of felt like my heel was going to slip out every single step. And I just kind of got used to it after a while, after like a few runs, but I don't really like the feeling. You know, I like to feel nice and secure and snug in my shoe. And these almost felt a little bit like I was gonna slip out every time. And I think that might be a little bit because of this like thick wool cushioning. The last thing that I really don't like about these shoes, and this is probably the biggest thing, is their price point. They're $125 brand new. And compared to other shoes, other like running shoe brands, that's actually pretty competitive. A lot of other shoes will go for 125, even maybe a little bit more for new shoes. But I don't really consider Allbird a running shoe brand. This is their first running shoe. And in my opinion, I mean, I don't think they've really 100% proven themselves. This is a decent shoe. I'll give it to them right now. I mean, this is a pretty good first ever running shoe for a company that's never done anything like um, sports or running wise, I believe. Maybe they have, correct me if I'm wrong, but I don't think they have. This is a pretty good first attempt, but I mean, I know what shoes I like. I like a shoes from Brooke that's already a year model outdated. So I can go and buy the year old model online and brand new pair for $85 on Amazon. It'll get shipped to me the next day. That's 85 bucks for a shoe that I know is gonna last one a long time. And I know exactly how it feels on my runs. I love the way it rides. I think this is a great shoe that you can wear for like your doubles or your shorter runs. And then you can also wear them like hiking. I think this would do great. Or just if you know you're gonna be going for a long day with a lot of walking, a lot of walking around like maybe in the city or around town or whatever it may be. If you're gonna be doing a lot of walking, I think these would hold up great. You know, they're stylish to the point where you could wear these with probably a lot of different outfits, I guess, and it would look decent, you know? These are decent looking shoes. I would never wear like my Brooks with a pair of jeans or my Brooks with a, a pair of regular shorts. I think that would look super weird. But honestly, I think you can pull these off because of how like nice and aesthetic they look. Let me know if you guys like this kind of video. This is the first time I reviewed anything on my channel, running or otherwise. But if you did like it, please don't forget to hit that like button and leave a comment down below if you wanna see me review anything else. And uh, yeah, uh, these are the Allbird shoes. Hope you enjoyed the video today. Thank you guys so much for watching. As always, be good humans, do good things, search for happiness. Peace.